Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to another episode of. That's not my channel. Weird. Anyways, welcome to. Again, not my channel. Weird. Anyways. I need to get healthy. Not my channel. Again. Weird. Anyways, you guys, this week on Us 5 is Memory Week. Uh, and this. Video is gonna get a little bit deep, so if you're not too much into that kind of stuff, just leave now. I would like to not only share some of my memories with you, but also talk about how I think that memories define us. Like, for example, the oldest memory I have of myself is when I was, I think, three years old, and I was laying in my kindergarten for nap time, because, you know, back then we all took naps, and I remember I could never sleep during these nap times, so I would just lay there and think. Uh, and my earliest memory is that I was laying there thinking that I couldn't wait to get out of kindergarten so that I could go and explore the world. And that's really my earliest memory. So I have known that about myself for my entire life. And it's the deepest thing that I know about myself is that I want to travel the world and see so much of the beauty in this world and just explore whatever's out there. And... That defines me a whole lot, because it's the deepest thing that I know about myself. It's what I use to define who I am. A lot of people who have been through rough times in their lives, afterwards they're like, I wish I could get those memories deleted. Uh, but what I do is I try to think about if I got them deleted, would I still be the same person? Like, for example, I experienced a lot of loneliness for several years during my childhood. I always think, I wish... I, that never happened, you know? I wish I could just forget that, because it was such a dark point in my life. Uh, I even became suicidal and everything. But then, again, I think, would I have been the same person if I hadn't experienced that? And I've come to the conclusion that no, I wouldn't have been. Because I am such a kind and loving person today, and I really don't think I would have been that way that I am today if that wouldn't have happened to me. If somebody walks up to you and asks you, who are you? You would start by saying your name and all that kind of stuff, and then you would kind of derive into the things that have happened to you in your past that kind of describe who you are as a person. And that's how I think memories control us. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I really don't think that that's a bad thing. But what I'm trying to say with this video is that if you're going through a rough time right now, just think about the fact that afterwards, when it all gets better, because it does get better, you're gonna think about the things that have happened to you, the rough times you've gone through, and you're not going to be able to be yourself without them. They have kind of shaped you into a good person, hopefully. I mean, I could also tell you about the time when uh, me and my current best friend, we we knocked a bunch of bicycles over and even, like, gave a lot of them flat tires as well uh, by jamming things into them. And I could also tell you about the time that I stole bikes or stolen stores and all these things that when I look back and I think, Wow, I wish I never did these things. Then I also think, would I have been the same person without them? So, yes, that was just all I'm trying to say with this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out all the other members of us 5 this videos here on the channel throughout this week. As you can hear, I'm quite sick. I really feel like shit, but I needed to make a video to you guys because I can never let you guys down. Uh, so I'll see you next Monday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this Us 5 video. Be sure to go check out my latest main channel video. And I'll see you next Monday. Bye.